Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad lesson. So let's get cracking. Friends, I'm on my website, hlmodtech.com. I love to let you know that I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing lessons, including ones for absolute beginners. And then also down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I mentioned that today because, of course, I got a suggestion from a user. Let me show you what I've got. Friends, the user said, how could you make this in Tinkercad? I've got a way, so let me show you. Step one, of course, is to visit Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. Once you get there, we want to make a new 3D design. So I'm going to hit plus and 3D design. So the first thing I'm going to do is name this project. That is obviously a hook, and I'm going to build it with the bent pipe. So I'm going to call it a hook pipe. If we go over here and search, I want you to type bent. When you do, you'll get this awesome little dude right here called the bent pipe. Now, when it comes in, it is two centimeters wide. I'm going to stay with that. I'm going to make it solid by simply typing a wall thickness of 10. Bang, there's the start of this design. Now, this one wraps around 180 degrees. So let me show you how to make that happen. Simply move over here to the bend angle and make it 180. Now, notice there is a gap here, and this gap is pretty large. It's because we've got the arc diameter set at 30. Let's see what happens if I set that to 10. So I'm planning for the width of these walls to see if we can get it to zero. We can actually go less. I'm gonna set it to two. And after a moment, you can see we have got a two millimeter gap between it. I want a little more room for my screws, so I'm gonna put a three there. Of course, you can experiment with these at will. If we return to the image, we have just made this chunk. And I'm talking about this piece right here you can see that it does almost 180 degrees and just comes out for hook number one straight in line with the shape. So I want to line that next part up right on this piece. It's easier to build from that. So we're going to close it and we're going to grab the work plane, which is the letter W. Now I can go back and get my pipe. So we're going to type bent again and we're going to do something smart here. We're going to make it a favorite. So we put a star beside it. Now this time when I bring this out, it is not aligned the correct way, but watch this. Work plane back down on the ground using the shortcut W. Rotate it 90 degrees so it is in line. Press D to drop. Rotate it 90 degrees so it is in line. And now we can move it to the correct spot. I'm gonna grab these two, I'm gonna choose a line, and I wanna go to this edge. Now I can use the arrow key and just nudge it out until it's perfect. Or are you ready for this? Work plane, letter W right there, D to drop, boom, it's connected perfect. Now the measurement is not perfect, so we're gonna go back and adjust that. Remember we made the wall thickness 10 to match our two centimeter thick design. I'm gonna make this 40. I'm gonna make the distance 130. So I'm just getting the hook to the size that I want. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground and friends, as you can see, our design is looking pretty sweet. Now I don't need it to come down this low, so I'm going to change this real quick. I'm going to make this zero and then when that zero kicks in, I'm going to do the work plane and D to drop so it's connected where I want. I think I'm going to change this to be a little tighter too, so it looks more like a U. So watch this, 150 and arc diameter, let's say 20, because I don't think I need that much distance. Boom, I think that's a pretty sweet hook number one. Now we're gonna build from this same spot for hook number two, control D, which is duplicate, and then I'm just gonna use the arrow keys to move it into place. You can see that is pretty darn awesome. Work plane back down on the ground, and we're gonna stretch this down and over for a twist. So first, lead in, let's make it 30, so we know it sticks past the shape. Notice it did not go far enough down, so I'm gonna just use the arrow keys to nudge it out, and you can just stop when it connects, or you can use that drop technique. As you can see, we do need to rotate this 90 degrees, D for drop. Let's grab the two of these, and let's do a line make this one the boss and we want to bring it to that corner 
So you can see we have now got hook number two created. I'm gonna change this to 40 so it pushes out just a little further. Once again, we'll have to nudge it with the arrows or you can use that D to drop. And friends, the final step was to give it a little bit of a twist. Now we can line it up. Once again, doing a line, make that one the boss. And we wanna to go to this corner and the bottom. Bingo. You have just created your two hooks in one spot that you screw into a wall right there. I'm gonna take that project and I'm gonna group it. Friends, I'm gonna add a couple of finishing touches. I am gonna remind you, have fun, make those numbers do what you want. You can adjust this. Right now though, I'm gonna put a curve on the end of this. I'm gonna quickly return to basic shapes and let's grab the half sphere. When you bring it out, you'll notice that it fits exactly. I say the easiest way to line this up is to just snap it in place while that work plane's there and then do control G to group those two. You'll see that it turns into one pretty nifty piece. And then I'm gonna do the same thing up here, work plane, bring out the half roof. Once again, zoom in, I'm gonna do F for fit view and I'm gonna just nudge it into place. You can always set your nudge to 0.1 as you find the exact spot where it connects. Just make sure you orbit around and make sure it looks the way you want. And then of course, select the two of them and do control G to group. Work plane back down on the ground and I've got one more idea for 3D printing. So this is gonna be mounted on a wall to hang things. So it would be smart to have this back be flat. It also makes it easier for 3D printing. I'm gonna just stretch this past. I'm gonna choose three millimeters for how much I wanna cut off. You can experiment with that to get what you want. And then when I do control G to group that, Notice it's nice and flat. I can hit D for drop and it's ready for 3D printing. This could print in place absolutely fine, but you can also do this to make sure it prints. It is simply a cone. I'm gonna set the top to one and then I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm gonna make sure I've got the white up here by changing the angle and I'm gonna shrink it so that it's quite small. And then I'm just gonna lift it up so it touches. Do make sure it comes in there close to the front, get it to the exact spot. You could have more than one of those. As a matter of fact, I will. I'm gonna just slide that in and do control D and nudge it in place. When you're done, just simply clip these off with some pliers. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. A cool dual hook for the same vertical spot using the versatile bent pipe in Tinkercad. Huge shout out to Brandy for asking the question. The bent pipe is one of my favorites and this is an absolutely epic way to put it to use. Friends, of course, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.